Alright, hey guys, it is Chris again within the video, and in this video today, well, I want to talk about something a little kind of sad. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at someone else's video um, that someone else got busted from. It was at a hotel in New York City, um, so I'm going to be showing you that video today. Uh, credit to YouTube user ACEE06, thank you so much um, for uploading this video and allowing for the reuse of this video. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and stop the camera and I'm going to show you guys what it's like to be harassed elevator filming, especially in New York City. Now, I'm going to very quickly give you some tips on New York City. You need to be very careful when you are filming in New York City. When you take a camera like this into New York City, you need to be extremely careful, especially in an office building with security. Now, I know there is a lot of office buildings there that are locked off and you, you have to get an appointment to get in there but you have to be extremely careful or you could get arrested for um, filming on private property which unfortunately that's a rule in New York City which is very unfortunate um, for some of the buildings there but um, like I said um, you could still film some of the stores and some of the hotels etc etc um, I don't mean go ahead and go film but you just gotta be careful in their hotels and their office buildings and also apartment complexes if you are live there and if you know someone there then you don't have to worry about a thing but if you're not well then you're basically trespassing so anyways I'm gonna go ahead now stop the camera and I'm gonna show you guys what I mean These are the elevators, the courtyard. Hobby of people who film elevators on YouTube. First of all, I know it's laughable. No, no, no. Don't break the rules too. Okay. 